this problem, we need to add these two fractions. And if you notice, the denominators are almost alike, but they're not quite alike. One is the opposite of the other. So rather than factor them down and try to get all of the factors in common, what I'm going to do is make them look exactly alike right now. So if I take the second fraction and I multiply it by negative 1 over negative 1, which is still some form of 1, then the numerator gives me a negative y and a positive 3, but the denominator is what's most important here. I get a negative 25, which I'll write second, and I get a positive y squared. Again, when we subtract in the opposite order, we actually have the opposite value. So now that they are the same, which they are y squared minus 25, I can add my numerators and see that my y's go away and my 3's go away. So I just have 0. Well, 0 over this is just 0.